This is the uh, this is about the surfboard SB6141 modem to use with uh, Comcast or Xfinity. Uh, I'm going to show you what comes in the box and how to hook it up and what's all involved and the entire process. Box, you're going to open it up and see uh, some paperwork here. Uh, something just telling you if you have any trouble, call this number. Uh, you're going to get some safety instruction information. Uh, you're probably not really going to need to read. Uh, then you're going to get this. This is the um, the operation guide. It's going to let you know what the modem looks like, what all these LEDs mean, um, just some disclaimers, and uh, stuff like your model information, serial number. Uh, also, when you open this up, it's going to give you the quick start guide. It's going to tell you what you get in the box and how to connect your modem. These instructions correspond to these images over here. It's a pretty simple setup. You know, once you hook it up, it talks about testing it, basically just opening up any internet browser and going to a website and just make sure it's working. So pretty much just take it out of the box, plug it in, let it start up, and go on the internet. Uh, one thing I do want to redirect your attention to is this back page and these uh, icons here. These are the icons actually on the front of the modem. And uh, pay attention to what these mean because uh, you may get this uh, amber colored light here and think that something's not working, but it just indicates that you're on a 10-base-T uh, Ethernet and not a 1,000-base-T Internet. So you're on regular Ethernet, not gigabit Ethernet, as all this telling you. Uh, in the box, see, here's the, the modem here. Uh, on the back, pretty simple. Get your Ethernet port, a coax cable to plug in the cable line, and a power connector. And on the front are the LEDs that correspond to the images on the paper here. They're just not lit up because we're not plugged in, but I'll show you that in a minute. And you're going to get uh, an Ethernet cable and a power cord. So let's hook it up and see what happens. And here I'm going to go ahead and hook up the Ethernet cable first. Uh, once the Ethernet cable is plugged in, I'm going to plug in the power. And plug that into the wall. Okay. And I'm going to grab my Ethernet cable. Plug that right into the back. And I'm going to follow it around and plug the, the other end into the side of my laptop. Okay, powering on. See the two lights went blue. Okay, and even though the bottom one is still flashing, we should still be good to go. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and, and you can open up any web browser and you can see here that it's working. And if you ever need to access the modem, you can just go and type in 
192.168.100.1. And that will take you to this page here. This is uh, accessing the actual cable modem itself. So you've got uh, status, signal, addresses, configuration, logs, uh, some open source information, and a help file. But it's just pretty much just information. There's nothing to really change in here. Let's uh, go to another website like YouTube. And here we are. Okay, I do want to do a quick speed test. So let's go to speedtest.net. And I have flash turned off, so I'm going to go to the beta. I'm going to begin test. And I'm supposed to have 75 megabits per second internet, and you can see we're passing that at 89, 90 megabits per second. Download speed. Upload speed needs to be around 11, almost 12. And uh, that's it. That's all it takes to set it up straight to computer.